I want to talk about God's amazing grace because his grace is so amazing. His grace is so wonderful. His grace is sufficient for us. We were saved by grace through faith. John chapter 1 says, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. In verse 14 it says, And the Word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory as of the only begotten of the Father, the fullness of grace and truth. And that's Jesus. And when Noah in Genesis around chapter 6 verse 8 says that Noah found grace in the eyes of God. He found Christ. He saw Jesus. Jesus is the grace of God. He's the fullness of grace. And this amazing grace is so wonderful. So many people are in bondage trying to get saved and doing so many things that they think they have to do in order to please God or to get blessings and to have triumphs and victories. But Jesus is our triumph. He is our victory. And He's made, made us more than conquerors, and, and through him who knew no sin, he became sin for us, that we are the righteousness of God in Christ, and we're saved by grace through faith, and that's not of ourselves, not of any works, lest any man should boast. It's an amazing grace. It's God's amazing grace, and I just want to just share that with you. His grace is awesome. You don't have to jump through hoops to be saved, or some people have you doing some of everything. You got to do this. You got to do that, and Oh, man, you just give your life to God. He saves you and he keeps you. And through your intimate personal relationship is where all the things that you do that don't please him, your, the precious Holy Spirit of God will convict you of it. And that's how it works. That's the, you know, you don't have to stop doing anything to get saved. No, just get saved first. He knows where you are. He knows what you're going through. He knows your life, your former life. He knows how you're doing right now. And all you have to do is give your life to him and let him save you. He'll keep you. He'll train you. He won't let the devil have you. Nobody can pluck you out of his hands and he won't cast you away because he loves you. And that's for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believe in him would never perish, but you'll have everlasting life. And that's God's amazing grace. Just believe on him. Ask Jesus to come into your life. His grace is amazing. And his grace is sufficient to sustain you. His, his grace is strong to keep you. There's nothing more powerful than God's grace, and that's Jesus Christ. And he did it all for us. So don't allow people to have you in bondage and tripping you all up, saying, well, you still smoke, well, you still cuss, well, you still drink, well, you still live with that person. You know, of course, there's a host of things we do that don't glorify God. But we don't stop doing that to get saved. No, we get saved first. That's why he came. And through your intimate personal relationship, trust me, the desires to, to do things that displease God are going to are gonna go away. You're not going to want to do those things anymore. You're going to want to do things to please him because it's the love of God that constrains us. It's the love of God that compels us. And it's his goodness that leads to repentance. He doesn't have to beat you in line. He'll love you in line. He'll love you so much. You'll say, my goodness, God, I'm not worthy of this new car. I'm not worthy of this house. I'm not worthy of this promotion. I'm not worthy of this, of this great business. You know, and he'll just bless you because he loves you. And it's his goodness that leads to repentance. And that's what it's all about. That's God's amazing grace. And that's all I wanted to share with you. Just fall in love with Jesus. That's where it's at. Fall in love with Jesus. Now click subscribe to this bfabp.com on this YouTube and then also go to anthonyblackmanministries.com, all right? And that's my website there. Go there, peruse it, see what's available for you and how, how you can obtain copies of the things, the products that I have online. And then go through my online videos and then just peruse each one of them. Go, go back about three, three or four years of just blogs, videos, three and four minute shots some just powerful truths that are going forth and they're going around the world. And I just appreciate you. I get up in the morning and I pray for my subscribers. So you subscribe and I got you covered. In Jesus' name, amen.